Hello guys, I'm Elf, Elf Net Gaming, and I have received this in the mail for a friend of mine who uh, needed it because they are left-handed. I'm not left-handed, I'm right-handed. Well, my friend is left-handed, and uh, the normal run of mice for gaming applications left-handed is, is just not there. Um, everything is right-handed for the most part. Uh, left-handed mice that he was telling me are all of these ergodynamic er, 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 ergodynamic what's the word <laughs> anyway they're all mice and they look like track balls and they have your hand doing all this they look weird like shoe shoes or boats or planes or something it's just not something that was interest that, that he wanted so we found the razor death adder left-handed edition the central left-handed ergonomic ergonomic that's the word i believe word. Well, the ergonomic mouse mice that he was looking up and he showed me pictures of. i was like wow that's a mouse i thought that was like some other thing um it looks normal and I'm going to show you the new one, but I also have his old one that he gave me for parts uh, to examine or whatever to keep. Um, then we'll get into that in a minute, but we're going to open a box, see what you get. Of course, you get the box with all of its uh, holographic uh, lettering here. Um, you open the box. Here's this. It's got your little Velcro on it. There's the mouse right there. Somewhere I have a deal. I don't have it with me. What? All right. So we're going to use this to power it because it is a lighted mouse. Instead of plugging it into the computer. So yeah, there's that. There's the side of the box. Tells you that it's blue. It's got infrared sensor and a laser. This is a infrared mouse. 3000 hertz, ultra polling, 3500 DPI, ergonomics there, here's all of this, message from Razor Guy. So they're the only one that's making a left-handed mouse that looks like a mouse apparently, I guess, I, I know. Like I said, I'm right-handed. I uh, I could probably use this mouse if I absolutely had no other mouse. Um, but they do make the uh, the uh, the uh, ambidextrous versions of this. So we're gonna open this and we'll see what we got. Here's the box. Uh, get this dead off of there. Uh, get our mouse out from its plastic prison of lime greenness. Get rid of all this. Get rid of all this fine. And here's our mouse. It's got all of our uh, little protecting uh, plastics on it. You want to take all these off, of course. Um, you probably have to take off. Oh no, okay, the Teflons you don't take take anything off. My mouse I had, I had to take little pads off each of the old Teflon uh, thing put them in the trash. This mouse comes with this gold plated USB. It has a cloth cord mouse. Um, it's and it's a pretty long cord. It's uh, what is that? About six feet. How tall am I? Yep, that's about. No, that's more than six feet. It's probably about a ten foot, <laughs> eight feet of cable here. Okay, so we're gonna get power from here. And this powers the mouse, and you can see it's only gonna power this LED. The other one is driven by the data. And you can control, I think, in the software that this little logo here, if it lights up or not. 
right, so the mouse is working. It is blue. That's the bottom death adder. All the buttons are on this side, of course. Plug in this back in and plug that. Sorry about all of that. Plug my radio charger back in. So move this here on that. And we're going to see what's in the bag. What's in the package here? Savages, huh? It's got the uh, that on it. You can see that death adder symbol. It looks like a CD sleeve. And it's probably got a CD in it of sort. Um, there's a uh, that. Congratulations, there's no turning back. Uh, of course, I'm out where we call the gaming mouse. Fresh gamers, precision, accuracy, blah, 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 blah. It is that. Uh, looks like a book. This is a Synapse 2.0, the instructions on how to set up your mouse stuff there. You get these little stickers. I still have these old stickers when he got his other mouse. Um, yeah, those stickers. Um, there's some kind of thing there. We're gaming, okay. Are there any codes on there? Congratulations. Um, here's the other line of mice, just a product book of different mice and peripherals that you can make keyboards, headphones, mouse mats, um, just that stuff. All their gimmicky uh, advertising that they have to. There's no CD in this though. I thought there was a disc in, uh, involved here, but I guess you go on the internet and download this Synapse program. And, uh, you know, set everything up there. So I'm going to put all this back because you might want to look at this crap. Uh, he's already been through it once, but you might want to go through it again. Something that he might have missed. So we have our mouse. It, there it is. It's the left handed guy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five buttons, mouse, gaming, and, oh, whoop, oh, shit. Well, that was a bad idea, but whatever. It's for parts. It's the old one, and it's all in pieces. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, this is what the inside of one looks. There's the LED that does the uh, logo. This thing is nasty. That's the LED for that. Here's the main uh, circuit board. Which, uh, what happened to his is this button here is went bad. And I've replaced this button. But upon replacing it, the uh, trace that run off of this pin broke. So I had to make a jumper and do some voodoo. And it was working. And then it finally just went all the way bad. Um, it, it worked for a while like this. Like my complaint with this is everything else is socketed. Um, the USB cable, for example, is socketed. Here's the uh, USB cable here for that mouse that I've taken apart. And it's, it's socketed. You plug it in, it goes in there. The LED goes in that one. But this daughter board is not socketed. It's just hard soldered on. And it makes it very hard to uh, service this mouse, which you're probably not supposed to. We're looking at it. Here's the uh, sensor. The sensor that picks up the uh, infrared. That's the infrared LED right there. There's our mouse little driver thing uh, chip. 
not sure what that number is on there. I can't see it and don't have my gla glasses. So, well, looks like you lucked out on part numbers. Here's the uh, scroll wheel LED. There's the scroll wheel potentiometer or uh, encoder rather. The, uh, the potentiometer is an encoder that does the tells it what position it's in, and it sits there. And there's the scroll button left and your right and here are your side buttons right there and that's the guts of the death adder here's the base nothing too special there there's the whole thing all in pieces so you can say yeah we did a tear down um you might note that the base of this one has no uh teflon and that's because well Instead of him buying replacements, he just found the cheapest thing he could to put on them. And I'm like, why didn't you get the ones to go to it? You know, you can order them. I just didn't want to spend $10 for it, which, okay. If you're going to buy and have these expensive toys, this is a $60 mouse, by the way. You might as well be prepared to spend the high dollar for the replacement parts, or at least one would think. But in my opinion, I've seen him use this mouse playing his games, playing uh, Path of Exile, Diablo 3, and Binding of Isaac, just some random other games. If you're left handed and you want a gaming mouse that looks like a mouse, then I recommend the Death Adder left handed series. Hell, even the normal, the regular Death Adder for right-handed people is only about 30 bucks. And it's, it's a decent mouse, but they, just like any mouse, it's going to suffer from the problems that mice have. Whether the buttons wear out and things happen. So, yeah, it just depends on what you want to do. And with that, this is my little review. It's a positive review of the Razer Death Adder left-handed edition mouse. Now, I get to box it all back up and put it on his desk for when he gets home from work. It will be there and he can plug it all in and do whatever it is that he wants to do with it. <coughs> and then, yeah. So if you like the video, be sure to leave a comment. If you own one of these, let us know in the description. Hey, I have one of these. It's left-handed. It's right-handed. I think it sucks. I think it's good. Yada, yada, yada. Comments are welcome. Just be nice in the comments. Negative comments. I do read everything and curate everything. Because I don't want any negative comments on my channel. But everyone is entitled to their opinions. Just be nice with them. And with that, I'm Elf with Elfnay Gaming, and I will see you in the next video.